Jamie Gohmert is, of course, one of the dumber politicians in the United States of America. He's right up there with Michelle Bachman and Steve King. In fact, he's probably dumber than both of them. I know that's hard, hard to believe, but he really is. Uh, so some of my favorite hits from him uh, when he said, Jews should not be allowed in the government. I mean, do I need to say anything? Really, in 2013, is ah, yeah, get them Jews out of here. Ah, yeah. Who takes that person seriously, right? Uh, anyway, uh, and my favorite thing he ever said was, uh, Obama is resurrecting the empire. So at first you think, okay, right? I mean, Bush started it, Obama's continuing it, 900 military bases around the world, the war in Iraq, Afghanistan, so on and so forth, military industrial complex. No, 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 not the American empire. The Ottoman empire. How are you even supposed to respond to that? That, I mean, that's so far from making any sense that it freezes your brain because it should have never been said in the first place. Like, what? Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? All right, anyway. So putting all that aside, uh, he's at it again. Uh, he was in a House Judiciary Committee hearing on Wednesday, and they were debating a non-discrimination clause to a certain bill. Now understand, that's a, a relatively uh, common thing, a non-discrimination clause. You could always add it to different pieces of legislation. And uh, the funny thing is, in the United States, you can get fired for almost anything. But some of the few protections are, hey, you can't arbitrarily be discriminated against and fired for your religion or your race. I mean, it makes all the sense in the world. Very few people, if anybody, uh, is against something like that. Well, apparently, uh, Louis Gomer decided to be that one person who is. Uh, he decided to enter the conversation guns blazing. He said, quote, there is nobody in this chamber who is more appreciative than I am for the gentleman from Tennessee and my friend from Michigan standing up for the rights of race, religion, national religion of the Delta smelt, the snail darter, various lizards, the lesser prairie chicken, the greater sage grouts, and so many other insects who would want someone standing for their religion, their race, their national origin, and I think that's wonderful. Really, Louis? I mean, you just compared somebody's race and religion to various lizards, insects, and the snail darter. You sure you don't want to take that back, son? You sure you don't want to take that back? I mean, but look at that. How insane is that? Now, understand, uh, let's say hypothetically we lived in a world where somebody added a clause or a provision or an amendment to a bill that said, hey, you know what? I want to protect uh, for the rights of violent criminals. So let's put a non-discrimination clause uh, into a bill that says if one of your employees punches you in the face and you're the business owner, you're not allowed to fire them. Okay, in that hypothetical world, that would be a non-discrimination clause going too far and it wouldn't make sense, right? But we don't live in that hypothetical world. We live in a world where the non-discrimination clauses say, hello, hey, uh, just for no discrimination against race, uh, no discrimination uh, for religion, it just has to be, you can't arbitrarily say, hey, I'm gonna treat you uh, different and you're inferior because you believe something that uh, my family or my culture doesn't believe, right? But Louis Gomer uh, looks at that and says, no, no, that's just as irrational as my hypothetical scenario where I say, protect violent offenders. I just made that up, right? No, no, that's, that's equally as irrational. Just protecting for uh, race and religion. Yeah, but Louis, that's not irrational. And no, uh, black people or Hispanic people or, or uh, Muslims or Buddhists or Hindus, they're not snail darters and various lizards and insects. But the guy, he's so stupid he doesn't even realize that while he's making this obvious comparison from groups of people to lizards and insects, that he's doing something wrong. He thinks it's like a high-minded point, like, ha <laughs> got him. No, Louie, no, you got nobody, you got nothing. Uh, do yourself a favor, man. Seriously, step down. 
resign. You're way too stupid to be in office and to be a politician of any kind.